Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different from my usual content. I usually don't talk about periods and women's reproductive health and bodily fluids, but that's basically what today's video is going to be about. So I just started my period today and I am more excited about it than usual because I am finally going to be trying a period cup. I got my period for the first time the summer going into fifth grade, which is super young. I was 10 years old. It was on the day of my little brother's birthday party, which was just so fun. But yeah, I've been getting my period for over a decade now, uh, 13 years, and up until today, I've always used single-use period products. A few months ago, I did pick up some reusable pads from Rayel, which I really do like. However, I am a regular tampon user. I've been using tampons since about 12 or 13 years old. I was definitely in middle school when I started using a tampon, and period products produce a lot of waste, especially when the tampons come in plastic wrap, and then the little plastic insert. It's just a lot of waste being generated every month and a big way to cut out that monthly waste is to switch over to reusable period products, which is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So let me share a little bit about my period routine every month. I am on the pill. Here's my empty pack for this month. So I do know every single time when I get my period and it is usually very, well, I, I say usually, it really is always on time. I always know when I'm going to get it. My body is also super telling. A few days before I get my period, a pimple might pop up. Luckily, my skin's pretty clear this time around, which is kind of cool. But I will also, TMI, get a little constipated, which is totally fine. You know, I just know it's on the way. So, you know, no, it's on the way. I'm talking about the poop and the period. But yeah, at that point, I know that they're coming eventually. And I also might get a little bit more moody or dramatic or just whatever. Luckily, I do not experience cramps, which is such a blessing. I remember when I was younger, I would get really bad cramps, but also when I was younger, I had a lot of hormonal issues. I am diagnosed with PCOS. I was diagnosed pretty early on, which is definitely a luxury because my gynecologist and my doctors were able to get my body regulated, and I really don't have any symptoms or side effects of having PCOS now, but when I was younger, before I was diagnosed with PCOS, I would go months and months and months without getting my period, and you're always told that that's very, very normal, but in this case, it kind of wasn't. I also dealt with a lot of body hair, I, facial hair, body hair, all over, just extra of it, and it was extra dark and very thick, and that caused a lot of insecurities in, you know, my youth. And I was also very pimply. The way that I found out I had PCOS was one morning in seventh or eighth grade. I can't quite remember at this point. I think it was seventh grade though. I woke up, I took a shower, and I noticed I had lumps on my nipples, around my nipples. And I told my mom immediately, and we went to the pediatrician. The pediatrician sent me to another doctor to check out my boobs, and then that doctor sent me to go get an ultrasound on my ovaries. And at the ultrasound, my ovaries lit up with cysts, so they diagnosed me right then and there with PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is extremely common in women, and a big form of treatment for it is birth control. Please do not tell me your opinions on birth control and PCOS or birth control used as a treatment for PCOS. I don't care about what you have to say. I only care about what my doctor has to say and she tells me it's totally fine. Your unprofessional accusations are scary. But anyway, I got a little bit sidetracked there. I did want to talk about PCOS in this video, but let's talk about what happens when I actually end up getting my period. So my periods are fairly light. The first couple days are, you know, a little bit more heavy, but my periods are never anything that is unmanageable. I really only have to switch out my tampon a couple of times a day because I don't ever leak or my tampon never gets like 
filled up or anything. I change it the appropriate amount of times, but I'm not needing to like worry about it too much because my flow is not that heavy. And then obviously as the days go on, I really just end up spotting. Everyone's periods are really different. Mine happens to be a very pleasant experience, so I'm just very fortunate about that. At night, I do wear pads, which is why I switched over to the reusable pads at first. I was not ready to switch over to a cup. They've just always scared me. I've always been intimidated by them. I've never felt confident enough to do that. So I figured as a first step, I would at least switch over to a reusable pad, which has been really nice. I only wear these at night because like I said, I wear tampons during the day. I just like them. They're just more discreet in my opinion. They're more comfortable. I wear a lot of thongs and tight pants, so they're just more discreet. I won't show you the front of this pad because it is stained. These obviously are just going to get stained, but I reserve this pad for my first night on my period when I know that my period is going to be the heaviest. So this stain pad is for the first night. And then these pads are just for the rest of my period where it's not quite as heavy. So yeah, that's a little bit of information on my body and my periods and my period routine. But let me show you guys the reusable period products that I have recently picked up for this month's cycle. The first thing that I picked up is the Thinks underwear. I picked up a thong. I also picked up these boy shorts. Oh, they're the, yeah, the boy short boxers. So I picked these up, which they're super comfortable. I'm very excited to wear these. I'll probably end up wearing these tonight or tomorrow night. And then I also picked up just this regular pair of underwear. These are the cheeky. I got all of these in a size small and they fit pretty well. I was afraid the mediums would be a little bit loose and I definitely wanted something to be a little bit snug so that I didn't have to worry about my underwear shifting or anything. So I definitely wanted these to be, you know, body conforming, I suppose. And then I also got some period cups. So the first period cup that I picked up is the Lena menstrual cup. It comes with this little baggie, which is pretty cute. And then here is is the cup. This is their small clear cup. I went with these small sizes in both of the period cups that I got. I just was most comfortable with doing that at first. I did also pick up another menstrual cup. This one actually came today, so I'm pretty excited about this. This is the salt cup, probably the cutest period cup on the market. This period cup is sold at Target, so it is very easily accessible. These look pretty much identical circumference-wise. I think the salt cup might be the teeniest bit smaller, but overall they look pretty similar. The salt cup I think might be a little bit more rounded and the ridges on the string part is definitely more prominent on the Lena cup, which I'm kind of afraid might be a little bit uncomfortable down there. The salt cup one is very, very smooth and they also say that you can trim the little string pulling parts. What I plan on doing is inserting the cup a couple of hours before I go to bed, sleeping with the cup in, and then tomorrow morning while I'm in the shower, I'm going to take the cup out. I feel like that is the way that I'll be the most comfortable, but yes, I will come back in a few hours when I am ready to try this bad boy out. Okay, I'm back. It's a little bit later. I'm in my pajamas. I just washed my hands and I rinsed my salt cup. I'm going to try the salt cup first. I'm just getting it wet again because I just watched the video that salt cup has on how to insert the menstrual cup and it said that using water and like leaving your cup wet is the best lubricant and I'm also going to do the C fold. I think that is the most comfortable fold for me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to switch you guys over to just playing the audio because I don't want like my expressions to be recorded while I do this, but I do just have one foot up on the toilet seat and I'm, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. It's, it said to, oh, I just pinned myself with my nail. It said to up, 
put it in at an angle and towards your tailbone. Okay, it's up there. Okay, oh my God, the thing is missing. Nope, it's there, okay. Did it pop? How do I? <laughs> All right, well, I'm walking around. I don't feel it up there, which is good. I also don't feel the little tag thing. How the heck am I going to get this out? I feel like I just felt it pop. It's in there. I don't feel it at all. I'm panicking now. I don't know how I'm going to get this out. Oh my God, what do I do? I'm trying to get it out. I don't think I put it in right. I think it's still in the sea. Okay, that was a lot of noises. Um, okay. I did get it out. Um, so that was fine. I'm going to insert it again and I'm going to squat and do it because I don't think it opened. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. How do I know if it opened up? Okay, this kind of sucks with long nails. Okay. I think it's I, it's up there enough. Okay, it's not falling. Okay. All right, well, I'll just put my pants back on. It's up there. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I did have a moment of panic when I, when it was like up there the first time and I was thinking about how the heck I'm gonna get it out. So I just needed to take it out right then and there to make sure that like I could do it and I did it. I, I did it, it was fine, that was really good. I feel really good about that. And I will, I guess I'll check in tomorrow and let you guys know how um, my first night with the period cup went. I'm back, it is the next day and it's, it's like a little bit more closer to the evening time now, but I do have a lot to fill you guys in since yesterday night. So this morning I went ahead and you know, I needed to take it out. So I tried doing it in the shower. I feel like I spent about 10 minutes like in the shower trying to get this out to the point like I was spending so much time trying to get the cup out that like my hands started getting sore. So I kind of was a little panicky about that because it really wasn't coming out. I, I should have really watched a video beforehand, but I think I just went into the shower feeling too confident, thinking that I was just gonna be like in, out, no problem. But I really like could not get, I couldn't even get my thumb up there because I was able to get like my finger up there with the cup in there as well. But I was like, how the heck is there room for my thumb? Like, how the heck is there room for two fingers and a cup? Also, my fingers were super slippery because of the shower and it was just wet and my fingers were like pruned. Maybe my fingers were like a little bit too swollen to be up there because of the shower. I don't know, just a thought, random thought. But so I ended up deciding just to leave it in and finish up my shower and take it out when I was out of the shower. So I got dressed, you know, did the rest of whatever I needed to do and then I finally sat down to like take it out I finally did end up watching a video which I really just should have done before my shower but I watched a video I will leave the video that I watched down below because it was super duper helpful basically she explained that you need to like stick your finger up there and press the cup in to break the seal and then I sort of just inserted my thumb in there as well and kind of like pinched it and then wiggled it down and that wasn't super uncomfortable it just it honestly I probably wasn't even noticing how it felt because I was just like on a mission to get this thing out of me so I yeah I was just in there like wiggling it and it did come out and at this point I was sitting on my toilet so I was like really trying to like get it out there like kind of in a squat or I would have my like foot 
on the toilet and I was just like trying to wiggle it out and then I decided to just sit on the toilet and at that point it was basically like already halfway out and because I was like in a sitting position I guess I was able to just like kind of pull it out so that's what I did this morning and it was totally fine then I like rinsed off the cup and inserted it back in but I will let you guys know that throughout the day the cup was totally comfortable I did not feel it at all I had no leaking at all at all granted i am like i said earlier i have lighter periods but the first couple of days of my period are like you know kind of heavy so yeah no leaking at all which was awesome and then when i came home i took the cup out and it was all good like it was a little bit easier to take the cup out this time because i definitely knew like more of what i was looking for i will say uh of uh, these bad boys uh it's a little uncomfortable trying to take the cup out with like talons i don't know how anyone with like longer nails than me would take this out these are pretty long and natural so there's like a lot of people out there that have like crazy long nails i don't know how i i, I don't know it's it's pretty uncomfortable because there will be like one minute where it's feels kind of like the cup and then the next minute it's my skin and then I'm like pinching my skin my natural nails like they're just a part of me and I feel like I can adapt I don't have intentions of trimming them I mean like I'll keep them manicured and trimmed but I don't have intentions on like cutting them for my cup but yeah so i took the cup out i did wash the cup this time with soap and water and then i inserted it back inside and it seemed fine this last time that i inserted the cup it i really was not like sure if it popped back like in like because i folded it in the c fold and then you insert it and then it's supposed to like pop pop out but I wasn't like 100% sure if it had popped out. But then I sat down to do some work at my desk and all of a sudden I was pretty sure that it had popped out because it, you could almost hear it. Like it like just like, it really did like pop out and it made my stomach turn. But after that, all good, smooth sailing. So for the rest of the night, I, I have the cup in now. For the rest of the night, I plan on having it in. And I am going to take it out before bed because I do want to use one of the Thinks period underwear for the bedtime um, just to be able to like see how that goes, report back to you guys. And then tomorrow I would like to try the Lena cup. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and let you guys know how my first day with the Lena cup went. And I don't know... I I'm not gonna call myself a seasoned cup user now, but I can't really tell if it's the Lena cup that is just easier to use or because I had like a little bit of practice with the salt cup. But the Lena cup, I had like a very easy time inserting it and taking it out just now because I inserted it for the first time this morning. No problem there, it was all good. It is a little more firm than the salt cup, but I don't mind it because it's a little smaller than the salt cup. And also when I just went to go take it out, it was pretty easy to take out. I did find a little trick and with the salt cup it worked. So I'll kind of like try and show you with the salt cup. But it worked really well with the Lena cup as well. Now, I don't really know if this is recommended, like especially if the cup is super full, but Anytime I've changed my cup so far, it hasn't really been that full. I take my thumb and I press the cup down and I kind of like scoop it out, you know, like with my thumb down and just kind of scoop it out. And that worked pretty well with the salt cup, but it worked really well with the Lena cup. And that's how I just took it out just now. And I didn't have to hop in the shower or anything. I did it right on the toilet because I had just And so I just took it right out but yeah honestly i'm really happy with the cup so far i know it's only been day two but i don't plan on going back to tampons like i really want to commit to the cup it also just feels like the most natural in a way because the cup is the only thing up there and it's not doing anything to the blood it just it it, it just feels it just feels like me and the cup because now that I'm thinking about it 
with like a tampon it's kind of like the tampon is soaking up the blood and then your body's super warm and the blood is just sort of like brewing inside up there when you have a tampon in so now it's just kind of getting me thinking that like the cup might even be like the most sanitary way to you know deal with your cycle each month so yeah i'm just really loving it i'm having a really good experience so far hi it's been a couple of days since my period ended and i didn't get around to doing a check-in i've just it, it, I my days are super busy because I have returned back from work at this point as some of you guys may know and Yeah, I'm exhausted after my day with the girls and I a lot of times have to like rush to get things ready for the next day all that kind of stuff but I have finally found some time to give a little bit of a recap and also share kind of like my thoughts on the last couple days of my cycle. If you hear Wilma Girl, she is playing with her sweater weather Heather toy um, from BarkBox. She freaking loves all of her BarkBox toys and this month was super cute with little Miss Sweater Weather Heather. So yeah, I ended up using my Lena cup. I used the Lena cup two days in a row and I noticed that the Lena cup was sitting up a little bit higher, which it, it didn't feel any different, but it was a little bit more challenging to sort of get the cup from, get the cup with my little fingers. And since this cup is a little bit stiffer than the salt cup, it is super hard for me to be able to get a hold of the cup by like smushing it down and pulling it out. Um, of course, like smushing it down and like, you know, getting, releasing the suction because the Lena cup is a little bit firmer and it's sitting up a little bit higher. And I don't know if like my fingers are just not used to the movement, but my thumb was getting so sore from like trying so hard to get these cups out of my body and it was to the point where I was like, oh my goodness, I do not think I can move my thumb this way anymore. And I was like petrified that I was going to have to call for assistance or something, but ended up being fine. Like I did a lot of like kind of stretching with my thumb and hopefully next time maybe my thumb will be a little bit more used to it. But the last day of my cycle, I ended up using the salt cup and the salt cup was such a pleasant experience to use after I had run into some difficulties taking out the Lena cup. I will say though, both cups are super comfortable inside of the body. I also didn't really see much of a difference getting the cup inside. Um, I do like the comfort of the salt cup because it is, or not the comfort while it's inside, but more so like just the comfort of using it. like inserting and taking it out because the salt cup is a little softer this is the small soft one um i think this is just like the small the their regular lena cup i don't know if they have different like variations of firmness but the salt cup is softer and when it is inside of you and you are trying to take it out you do appreciate the softness of the salt cup because it's just way more easy to manipulate out of your body. And I also just want to say that I felt like my period lasted a little bit shorter. Now, quit your huffing. I feel like my period was cut by like a day and a half while I was using the cup. I did look that up to see if other women experienced that and there are people who experience that, but there are conflicting thoughts on that. A lot of people are like, it's in your head or that's not how it happened. But yeah, I feel like I noticed a shorter period with the cups, which is really exciting. I am super excited to use the cups again. And I actually purchased the Athena Club cup so i did buy this cup for my next cycle which i'll be super excited to use it i haven't opened it yet why don't we just go ahead and kind of see this bag is really nice it's very um sleek you want the cup girl oh this cup is huge i feel okay oh my goodness this cup is humongous i feel like it's much wider so salt lena athena longer too there's not quite as big of a stem on there i'm curious to see how i feel about this cup this also looks much firmer 
Um, but yeah, we'll just see and we'll find out. I also really enjoyed my Thinks underwear. I wore the boy short to bed on one of the first days of my period because that's when my period is the heaviest. And then I wore the cheeky pair sort of to bed in the middle of my period. And then technically I feel like the last day of my period was on Sunday and I did wear a cup. There really wasn't anything in the cup because like I said, my periods are pretty light and I feel like the cups really shortened my period. So Sunday was like super light. So on Monday, since my period was so 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 light like there hardly was anything left on Sunday I ended up wearing the thinks thong underwear on Monday and that worked out perfect as well so that was awesome so yeah basically I just finished my first zero waste cycle I'm feeling really good about it and I'm super duper excited to continue this I'm not sure I'll be trying any other cups I feel like three is more than enough because a lot of times people just use one for their whole cycle and that's totally fine too um but yeah three is more than enough i kind of just wanted to get an assortment to kind of see what would work best for my body so far i think i like the salt cup the best but we'll have to see because i did run into some issues with the salt cup and taking it out at some point but I also ran into some issues with the Lena cup and taking this one out. So I just feel like still I'm in like a learning curve and you know, the more I use them, the more expert I'll become. And I'm also excited to try the Athena club cup as well on my next cycle. But yes, I am super excited. I finally decided to go zero waste with my periods. I hope that this kind of helps steer you in the direction of considering to go zero waste or influence you to finally do it. I am sure I was not alone in feeling for so long that like a period cup could never work for me, but I am telling you, try it. I feel like so many people would really enjoy this if they just tried it. Something that I love, love, love about the cup that I probably should have talked about earlier because I'm sure a lot of people have already clicked out of the video, but I love that I can wear the cup literally all day and not have to worry about it. This is amazing. I feel like this is a game changer for like public restrooms. Like I don't have to like change a tampon in a public restroom ever again. Amazing. Or like if I'm having a super busy day, I just stick a cup in and I forget that I even have my period for the whole day and then just revisit it at the end of the night. It is such a game changer I feel like and it's just gonna make my periods just so much more seamless and also it's obviously much better for the planet so yeah obviously if you guys have any any questions leave them down below I've also found the menstrual cup subreddit to be really helpful so I'll leave a link to that subreddit down below there's also a Facebook group called put a cup in it <laughs> which has been pretty helpful too. People are always asking questions on there and having a conversation going about menstrual cups, which is cool. You can always count on women for bringing a community together and that's fact. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And obviously like communicate with each other. Like if someone has a question and you have an answer, reply. But thank you guys. Uh, make sure that you guys are subscribed and I'll see you next time.